Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello and welcome, my dear friends. Uh, today uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to create a very nice uh, video slideshow in Adobe After Effects U6. So, this is the example that I'm going to show you. Uh, we will create this one today. This is a simple uh, video uh, slideshow. So let's start how to create this. I will jump to After Effect and I will close this all. first of all you will take new composition this composition I will drag uh, I have created this simple frame in Photoshop CX6 uh, so I will just uh, double click and insert this my uh, frame I have saved this frame on the desktop this one this is the PNG with no background so I will drag and drop it into my composition so as you see now we have this frame in our composition I will create one solid in uh, this solid any color no matter just I will put under the frame and I will scale it to I will just scale it to fit our windows now we will just uh, scale it scale it down and position it in the center of our windows just like this So now this uh, uh, layer is completely in the center. So this we will use as a, as a uh, alpha mat. So now I will bring my uh, footage, uh, the footage which I, I want to use. You can put uh, anything, video, image, whatever you want to uh, show. So I will go to this my old project. I will grab this I have one video and I will put it under this black solid so now uh, our video is not appearing because by pressing this uh, button track mark we will, we will uh, tick mark this alpha mat so now our video is taking alpha of this black solid so because our uh, video uh, size is smaller by pressing S we will scale it so now it is not going out of our frame so now you can place video very easily in this folder uh, in this uh, frame very easily you can place the video so uh, one thing else I want to do so now I will create another uh, composition and I will call it main and uh, this is uh, 1280 by 720 25 frames per second and 30 frames I will make it 10 frames I do need 30 frames so this is 10 frames long so now we will drop our this uh, frame composition inside our main composition and we see that uh, this is uh, 
the scale is too much big so now you will scale it to 50 something like 60 percent and uh, I have got a very cool uh, effect from video copilot it uh, called VC reflection this is a very cool plugin this is uh, used to make the uh, reflection very easily so this is uh, I recommend you to uh, go to video copilot and there is a free plugin this is free you don't have to charge anything for this you can uh, uh, download it uh, in free and you can easily install it so here we got the options uh, this is the opacity opacity will bring it down to something 40 and uh, you can play with these options like this so if I turn on the background you see there's a very nice reflection so now our uh, frame is ready uh, now we will work on background so for for a moment I will uh, shut this uh, frame composition I will go and take a new solid any color no matter we will go to effect generate and we will apply ramp so we will apply ramp on our composition uh, from here we can choose uh, which color uh, I will double click I will make our uh, background something like blue color so for the first one I will take a very light blue and for the second one I will make it a little bit darker blue so now I will go to uh, this rump shape and I will make it radial and you can play with this now we have a very uh, good background uh, the top is lighter and the down is a little bit darker we still uh, need to work more uh, now uh, I will create some lights I will go and take one solid make the solid color something like light blue I will make it uh, I will make it something more lighter brighter like this ok and we will take this uh, uh, rectangular ellipse tool from this menu and we will just draw a rounded circle just in the middle of our composition and by, by pressing F we will go to the feather and we will feather it something like this now this is a cool lighting effect uh, it means the light is from the top affecting our background I will take one more I will take one more solid and this time I will make it more bright something like this ok and I will make the same rectangular this ellipse tool and I will mask here 
you press the feather like last time and you will feather it like this so now you see uh, we have a cool uh, like uh, light is coming from top and affecting our uh, background now I will take this both layers I will take this uh, frame layer and put it above our background layers and turn it on so now you see my friends we have a cool background with the light from top and it's affecting our background down so the size of our video, uh, video is big I want to make it scale it down to something 50% yeah it's now cool and now we will make our uh, video 3d there is no uh, switch for 3d by going to this toggle switches mode I'll press this now I got this 3d button I will make my layer 3d so now we can rotate this in X and Y Z positions so now just I want to press a for the anchor point and I will bring the anchor point something like until my video disappear it means 3600 you can note this point uh, if you will go to the top view you can see what happened now see the anchor point anchor point is here and our video is here so it means uh, we put this anchor point back now if when we will rotate it will rotate to this anchor point and this will be our center point so now I will go back to uh, this uh, active camera mode I will zoom it in and now I will press P for position and I will play with the Z position I will bring my video back to where I want my video I will bring it back to here 1600 something uh, now if I will press R for rotation and I will play with Y rotation you see my video is rotating rotating around this anchor point And I will press R for rotation and I will reset the rotation to zero so uh, my dear friends this is the basic uh, uh, what we created so in the next part you are going to animate animate this video and we will uh, work on the background little bit we will add uh, more details to this uh, video uh, for now see you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more uh, video tutorials uh, see you in part 2